GER Detect, in cooperation with its exclusive agent, UIG Detectors, presents to you comprehensive guidance on how to assemble and operate its Fresh Resolve Plus device using two systems, a geological system and a long-range system. This device is specialized in detecting groundwater and artesian wells in the ground. First, open the bag to get familiarized with the device's components, which are a two-year warranty card, four electrical ropes, four electrical wires, four antennas, and a long-range system. A battery, a grip, a charger, the device main geophysical unit, and a protective carrying bag made of shockproof plastic. Gentlemen prospecting for groundwater and artesian wells. We are now on a farm that has a well of groundwater. In order to explain how this device works by conducting fieldwork and documenting it on the ground, Fresh Results Plus with two systems, a geological system and a long-range system. We start searching using a long-range system. We implant the electrical ropes into the soil in a square shape. Then, we implant the electric ropes into the soil in a square shape, as of the distance between them is from 3 to 5 meters. Then we connect the four electrical ropes to the device via the signal transmission wires enclosed with the device. Then we connect the electric cables between the device and the four probes.
We connect the battery to the device and switch it on by the on-off button. First, we start the main device using the on-off switch. After the device is turned on, a languages list will appear, from which you will select your preferred language, and then press OK. After that, a Settings and Search Systems menu will pop up. We go to Device Settings and choose the type of soil. Sandy soil, clay soil, mixed soil, rocky soil, clay soil, for example. And enter the distance between the ropes to set the distance between them to be 5 meters. We press the OK button and then the back button. Next, we enter search systems and select a long range system and press OK. We move to using a long range system and fix the grip on the device. After that, we connect the device antennas. And then, increase the length of the antenna in order to raise the front sense of the device up to 2000 meters. And then we turn on the device through the on-off button. After that, we press the power button to turn the device on. And choose a language preference from the languages menu. German, English, French, or Arabic. After you've selected a language, the device settings menu appears and a list of detectable targets is displayed. You can choose the target you wish to search for, fresh water for instance, and then choose the front range desired, 500 meters, 1000 meters, 1500 meters, 2000 meters, 2000 meters for example. It shows on the screen that the device has started sending signals to search for underground water. As a user, you should remove every and any item that affects the operation of the device, such as a wristwatch, a ring, a mobile phone, a wallet, or a belt. Note that the navigator must stand from north to south as ionic fields and radiations from underground water and artesian wells after having been in the ground for so long and have mixed and interacted with the soil in accordance to the nature of the composition of the earth and regularity of the northern and southern magnetic lines. Major Ions in Groundwater Calcium is one of the most important basic ions found in groundwater. There are several sources of calcium ions, such as non-silicate metals, silicate metals, fluorite, anhydrite, gypsum, dolomite, aragonite, and calcite, and the resultants of the solubility of metals found in stones that have decomposed in water, such as alpate, enerbit, pyroxene, and amphibole. And magnesium comes after calcium, where it is the second most important of the positive four ions present in groundwater. We move away from the main device from 3 to 5 meters and circulate around the device sensor slowly. The device will start receiving signals that guide us directly to the water. When we get a signal, the device will directly turn towards the target.
and to confirm where the water exists. We repeat this circulating operation among the four probes. We track the signal up to the center of the target. When the device turns back, this means that we have exceeded the target. At that point, we confirm the target from the four directions. From north to south, from east to west, and from west to east. After we've confirmed the location of the target, we shorten the length of the antenna and stand above the center of the target at this point, the device will start circling around, giving evidence that we are exactly above the target. This indicates that we are directly above water. To determine and confirm the type, depth, density, and salinity of the water present, we insert the four sensors of the device in a square shape at an equal distance from each other where the sensing system has guided us. Then we connect the four sensors to the device via the signal transmission wires enclosed with the device. Now, we turn on the device and choose the search language. To get started, we go to device settings and choose the type of soil, sandy soil, clay soil, mixed soil rocky soil, clay soil, for example. Then we move on to determine the distance between the four electrical ropes. It is recommended that the distance between the sensors be 20 meters for accurate results, taking into account the geographical conditions and the surrounding terrain in the search area, such as a house, a river, a mountain, or a fence. In these cases, you can search within 5 to 10 meters. We confirm the settings inputted by pressing the OK button and then press the back button. After that, we enter the search systems and select geophysical search system and the scanning process begins. The device then searches between the four poles in six different ways. After the search process has been completed, the device shows us a complete report of the following search results. 1. 
This well contains fresh water. 2. Water density is 87%. 3. Salinity ratio. 3,999 part per million of seawater salinity. Since salinity of seawater is 30,000 part of a million, and our reading is 3,999, this means that the salinity of the water of this well discovered is 1.5 over 10% of the salinity of the seawater. 4. Water depth is from 125 to 170 meters. This means that water is found at the depth of 125 meters and ends at a depth of 170 meters. This device operates on advanced technology used by major international exploration companies. The device is lightweight and easy to use and is designed to operate in all countries and regions. It discriminates and determines the type of water, whether it's salty, fresh or natural. It functions in four main languages, German, English, French and Arabic, adjustable by the region and the language of the user. This device reaches a depth of 1,200 meters in the ground and a range of 2,000 meters up front. We wish you success in your exploration trips.